The double tap pass is something I've recently only implemented into my attacking game in FIFA 22 only because I didn't think it worked as much compared to previous years including FIFA 21 but it's actually another pro player which got me onto this lads and in my opinion it still works in FIFA 22 so without further ado let's get into a more in-depth tutorial on this technique of passing. Double tap pass can be performed by obviously as it's in the name double tapping the pass button and what happens is it will loft the ball over the defender's foot as you're attempting to pass to the attacker who is behind the defender attempting to tackle you. Now I believe the name of this pass is the lofted or the lifted pass so, so it is called that however I like to call the double tap pass because it's quite easy to refer to. Now, in situations when you're, let's say, on the 18-yard box area and you have a pass opportunity into the central striker, but there is a defender in between you, it's actually quite an effective way of getting the ball into him. And the way you can do it is just by double tapping the pass button and it will lift the ball over the defender's tackle or interception as he's attempting to defend against that pass. You can also use this in the midfield, specifically if you're looking for a pass into another midfielder or into the striker showing for the ball. You can have the ball with your midfielder, then do a double tap pass into the striker and hallelujah lads, you've got the ball and you can proceed with your attack. It's yet again another good passing technique, specifically with your wing back to your winger because you might be on the wing and you need to do a ball into the winger who is showing for the ball, but there might be, let's say, the winger on you and you need to get around him. You can double tap the pass button, you will lift it over the tackle and you'll be able to proceed with your attack. So it's a simple passing technique lads and there are three simple scenarios for you guys in terms of how to use this but really you can disguise the limit and use it anywhere and I find it's actually quite useful and it's hard to tackle in FIFA 22 which means lads I think we should definitely use it but that will signal the end of the episode I hope you guys enjoyed it it's a simple but quick one for you today however again I hope you enjoyed it I'm here dropping tutorials for you guys like they are nothing so I hope you enjoyed this one along with many of the others that I have uploaded over the last few days that will signal the end of the episode I hope you enjoyed it I am doing tutorials on Instagram and TikTok as well go and check them out I'm also coaching one-on-one -on -one, so be sure to go and check that out in the description down below if you want private coaching lads and i can help you out privately on fifa 22 but as always i hope you have a good day i'm out sign au revoir adios salam ciao i hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye